I checked. We have a twelve o'clock appointment. Uh, let's uh let's jump into August. Is it not wild? August is here. I feel like I say that about every month, and yet they always surprise me. Um, people keep telling me the older you get, the faster time goes, and I think I'm learning that is very true statement. And uh, yet August is here. Uh, how is everybody? Very good. The energy feels good in the room. Uh, thank you, Rivers, for like. How's this training room feel? Right, little little cleaner, little more organized and a little purple so uh thank you uh rivers for taking care of that um she spent a lot of time down here last week cleaning up and reorganizing and, and making it a more inviting space so thank you for that uh let's talk about kind of a little bit about where we are um i want to start with a little bit of perspective we'll, we'll jump into other things in our normal team meeting and uh how do we feel about the market right now and the changes going on? Just give me some like one or two words, throw them out there. Challenging. Confusing. Challenging, confusing. Business as usual. Business as usual. Different. Different. Strange. Strange. What was it? Waiting for September. Waiting for September. Uh, weird. weird. All right, there's a lot of words. Some people are saying it's difficult. Some people are anxious. Uh, do we normally change forms every year this time of year? Yes. Have interest rates changed much in the last 45 days? Yes. And not a whole lot. Enough. Enough, right? Uh, yet at the end of the day, I think the thing that's bringing the weirdness and these words we're using is a lot of the NAR settlement. Can we agree? Right. Is that where we're at? Yep. So I was on a call yesterday and, and here's the thing y'all and Jason's going to spend some time with you today on this. As Cindy said, it's business as usual, right? Business is still happening. Forms are the forms. Are there some slight changes we're going to make in conversations we have? Yep. Yes. They're conversations that honestly we should have been having all along. It's all about disclosure, right? And disclosing things. There's a couple extra documents we're gonna have to do. Other than that, it's just different. So I was on a call yesterday. We have a national leadership call every week. And Wendy Harrelson, how many of you know who Wendy Harrelson is? Handful of you. Uh, she came up through the ranks. She actually was an investor in multiple market centers in the Carolinas at one point in time. Uh, she's been a team leader. She's been an, a very successful agent with the team. She has been an operating partner. She became a regional director, a divisional leader, and is now the president of all Keller Williams Realty company-owned regions. So she's the president of our region. She oversees Mark Brenneman and his whole team. She was on this call yesterday in the chat, and it stood out to me. Uh, she said, y'all, we've got to quit saying it's difficult, and we have to start changing our mindset to say it's just different. It's just different. It's not what we've been used to. It's just different. It's not difficult. It's a change of a conversation. It's a few different documents we need to execute. Other than that, nothing has changed. Things change every year in real estate. It's just another change. It's not any more difficult than it was a year ago. It's just different. So my challenge to you is to challenge your mindset today. Are you going to choose for it to be difficult? Or are you going to choose for it to be different? At the end of the day, I'm choosing that it's just different. And I'm asking you to do the same thing. Choose that it's different. Because the moment we start saying it's difficult, what's going to come after us? Difficult. 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 Many of you in the room have been to bold, right? And uh, what's the two most powerful words in the English language? I heard it. I am. I think Mike said it. If not, I'm giving him credit. Someone said, uh, Keenan said it, sorry. It's I am. And whatever follows I am follows us. Right? So if, if, if I apply that same methodology to the market and I say the market is difficult, right? What's going to find me? Difficulty. Right? If I just say it's different, then let's find the differences and let's move on. So challenge your mindset today and let's dive into this market. Is it just being different? 
Now, are there going to be things that pop up along the way that are challenges? Mm -hmm. By all means, yeah, they're going to happen, but let's not go looking for them, right? Let's function as we're supposed to, and let's jump into the changes. Let's ask questions when we don't understand, right? For the Y4C2Ts challenge that we're about to have and see who can master it this month, I'm going to give you one of them right now, and it's communication. Seek first, understand. It's one of the biggest things that's different right now is we're walking into conversations where we might not know the answer and we're used to knowing all the answers. The first thing you don't need to do, make up an answer. <laughs> the second thing you don't need to do is listen to a broker or a broker in charge from an office that isn't yours. Amen. Yeah. There's a lot of misinformation going out there in those real estate mastermind Facebook groups of what we should or shouldn't be doing, or you should be saying this or saying that. Well, guess what? A lot of those people aren't going to be in the business in the very near future because they're going to land themselves in real estate commission jail. Jason's doing a lot of work, spending a lot of time in Zooms, and he's going to bring you a lot of content on a regular basis. Show up to that. Listen to it. Watch it. Those things are recorded. If you can't make it in person, watch it. We don't want to have to get to the point where we say you have to show up to something, right? We don't want to take attendance and say all 180 of you have to attend something and be a babysitter. We're trusting that you're going to jump in and you're going to learn it. And if you can't be in here in person, that you're going to jump in and watch the recording, right? These are important changes. We're here to support you and make sure that we're putting our best foot forward as agents in the market so that we can set the example and the pace in the market, not so we can land ourselves in real estate jail, right? We all have livelihoods riding on this. Let's not lose them over doing something that someone in another market or another broker brokerage told us to do. Uh, there's Andrew's two cents for the day. Uh, <laughs> she said it's worth more than that. Yeah. Let's just embrace the difference. And uh, and we'll all be okay, right? There's still houses closing. Is the market down? Yes, but there's plenty of market share to be had because there's plenty of people getting out of the business every day, right? That are going to balance that out. Let's not be the ones getting out of the business, right? If you're one of those ones that's stuck and you're, I don't know what to do, let's have a conversation. We have a team here for you. Whether it's me, Karen and the coaching team, Jason, Robbie, right? We're all licensed. We've all been through different things. We can all coach the different things. Let's have a meeting. Let's talk about what it takes to get you unstuck and help you move forward. Karen, you have a hand up? Yes, I was just going to add on, just again, be very careful on some of these um, masterminds that are going on outside of our company because some of these companies aren't covered under the settlement. And so their approach may be very different than what our approach is. And um, so the message may not necessarily be the same. So again, just um, take what you're hearing from these others and make sure that it applies to Keller Williams being covered under the settlement. Yep. You don't comment on any of them because they're talking about commission and talking about- Yeah, and, and uh, as Valerie said, don't comment, right? Let's do our best not to engage, right? Let's be the, the bigger person in the situation. If you can't add value, uh, then don't say anything at all. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, this all goes right hand in hand with our mission. Our goal is that you have careers worth having and businesses worth owning. All the other things come when we can do those first two. Right? We want you to have a career that's worth having and we do that through helping you move your business forward right? And finding the leverage that you need to have a business worth owning. Then we get to live the life worth living. We get to live those experiences that we want to not just have for ourselves, but give away, right? And we get to ultimately live or leave a legacy. And as in bold, we talk about what does it look like to live that legacy today? Why do we have to wait until we're no longer on this earth to, to leave a legacy? Like let's function in such a way that we live it today, right? Uh, so, why four C two Ts? Who's got them today? I have two options of prizes. Maybe this one ties someone. I have a real estate as a contact sport glass water bottle. 
or a charge to storm journal. Who's going to go for the Y4C2Ts? Sorry, I don't have money to give away today. Who's got it? I see some people like checking their head to see if they got it. Katrina's done it in the last couple months. Shay's done it in the last couple months. Mike's done it. Come on, y'all. This is part of the foundation of who we are. Cindy's not good. Cindy's got a mouthful of food. Sarah. <laughs> okay, everybody stop eating. Nobody? We'll help you through it. Who's going to go for it? Come on, Cindy. Yep. Aye. Integrity. Integrity. Do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Four C's. Okay, I can't remember the order. That's, right. That's okay. Because they always come first. Commitment. In all things. In all things. Sorry. I go blank when I do this. It's like a test. I'm sweating. Okay, now, <laughs> now we're talking. Um, communication. Seek first to understand. Creativity. Creativity. Yes, you do. Ideas for results. Y four C's two T's. Teamwork. That's Trust. one of them. Trust teamwork. Trust starts with honesty. Teamwork. Together, everyone achieves more. Two T's. There's an E and then an S. Equity. Opportunities for all. And the S. <clears throat> Results through others. So, obviously, you have this plane going with your hand. Will you go ahead and show? We're not doing the dance today. I don't have time for that today. And here you go. Uh, we'll do the dance at the next team meeting. Two weeks. Hold me to it. All right. Happy birthdays, Cheryl Rodriguez, Holden Hayes. Sorry for the typo if you're watching. Jonathan Montrose, Melissa White, Sabrina Bergman, Noah Waller, Monica Faulkner, Benny Benamu, uh, Julia Coffey, Janice Atkins, Laura Emerson, Stacey Rogers, and Roger Abbott. Happy birthday this month. Some KW anniversaries, Sherry Clayton, Alicia McCann, Joe Don Baker, Rachel Zamorski, Cheryl Rodriguez, Kevin Young, and Zach Albright. Congrats on being with KW at least a year. Joe Don, how many years is this for you? Ten. Ten years for you. Zach, how many for you? And one, right? We're on both ends of the spectrum here. So uh, congrats. Congrats. All right, let's do some bucket fills in the room. What do we got? Carrie, let's go. Um, I'm just going to bucket fill. Why can I? Uh, I think everybody knows we took a cruise. The McCann family took a cruise. While we were out, we had a couple of people take care of our business. Uh, Karen Ward, thank you for taking care of our business. She took care of our listings. And then Terry and Roger Abbott took care of our buyers. Awesome. So we thank everybody that helped us through. Um, when we got back, we had an offer. That's really nice to come back to. Thank you. And we have six listings that we're putting in. There you go. There you go. Love it. Nice work. Results are paying off. Cindy. Talking about Porsche. Is Porsche Porsche is not here so today. Porsche, I asked a couple mm -hmm. people did an open house for me in High Point. And she did a, a, the right open house. And she got three buyers and brought me the buyer and the offer. And her offer won. Wow. <laughs> nice work. I, I, she goes, I'll do open house in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Portia did an open house. Yep. Took three buyers from the open house and brought the buyer. Nice. Nice. Do open houses work, y'all? Yeah, yeah. They've done right. They do. For sure. Sometimes even if done wrong. Uh, yeah. If they're done right, they do. All right. Another bucket fill? Mike. So I'd like to bucket fill Paul Lanier, Sam Weikerhagen, Katrina Roush, and Marla. They all 
join me this morning for our inaugural mastermind on dialogues for dollars. Nice. Um, great conversation about what's going on in the market and buyers, buyer days are coming. It's not just conversation practice, y'all. It's nope. what's going on in the market twice a week, Thursday mornings, 8.30 via Zoom. Jump and join them. Uh, it's definitely some opportunity to connect there and talk about, don't wait for a team meeting every two weeks to have some of these conversations. Jump on Dialogues for Dollars. They're talking about relevant info, guys. Tuesdays and Thursdays until Bolt starts, and then we're looking at probably Tuesday and Friday. Oh, we could just do Thursdays at 7.30 before Bolt. <laughs> and then you all can yeah, come to Bolt from that. Wonderful. See, yeah. you got it. You got it. All right, y'all. It's not a bucket, so but Christy Donaldson has some open house opportunities this weekend. Okay, now we're seeking opportunities. There you go. I love it. It's okay. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my quick MCA plug right here. Uh, and this is a thank you to all of you. I know I've said it before. Uh, if you've had a closing in the past two weeks, uh, you've been ACH. <laughs> so uh, we are officially back to ACHing your closings. So thank you for your patience in the interim. <laughs> while we were writing paper checks. Uh, and uh, we are very happy to be back to ACH. So, uh, yes, Gary. Do we have to have an ACH? Do we have to have an ACH? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll let that, de- we will let that determination be made by the new MCA. Uh, ultimately, ACHs are safer across the board. Um, it makes sure that the bank account information stays safe. Um, and then it makes sure that you get the money faster and it makes sure that our account is cleared faster, right? So we don't have all these checks outstanding. Um, so a lot of it is from a safety standpoint of financial stability. Um, yet we can talk about what that option would look like for a paper check, but I'll let the new MCA make that decision. So, uh, yeah, it's it's really to protect the bank account information and to make sure that we don't have money just sitting there. Uh, at any one time when we were writing paper checks, we had... $250,000 in outstanding checks to be cashed. Okay, for those um, of you that don't want to deposit your checks. So, <laughs> so uh, moving on to what's happening in KW Central, we're going to move quickly through these things. We have a lot to cover. Uh, Dialogues for Dollars, we already touched on that with Mike. Tuesday, Thursdays at 8.30. <laughs> Weekly tech workshop, this hasn't changed. Wednesdays at 1, either in person or via Zoom. Daniel's here to discuss different topics and what's coming new in the platform every week. Don't be surprised, show up at one and learn what's happening and ask questions. Uh, He's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to command and he's here to help you uh, whether you show up or not. Uh, Don't make him sit here by himself, come see him. (laughs) You have uh, one last opportunity tomorrow uh, from a corporate training perspective or regional training perspective to move your website. If you haven't transitioned your website to the new platform, Remember, your old website goes away effective August 15th. You'll be automatically transferred. Don't be one of those people that lose things um, because you say we didn't say it. We've said it. Uh, Let's have a conversation about it. If you don't know, see Daniel after the meeting. Thursday, this Thursday, 10 to 12. uh, How many of you would love to grow in your bioconsultation practice? Show up Thursday. Uh, I was a buyer's agent on a team. I built a system for it. Uh, We're going to talk about buyer prequel and buyer consultations that lead up to getting the buyer agency agreement signed. Uh, So let's come have that conversation 10 to 12 on Thursday. I guarantee you'll walk away with something you'll be able to implement. Um, It's a tool I built that you can use right out of the gate. Nothing you have to recreate. Nothing you have to go build for yourself. I'm going to give you my buyer prequel tool that's already finished, ready to go. Um, So you have to show up Thursday to get that. That was Sarah. That was my so it will be recorded so you can get the recording and get the info yeah for sure six personal perspectives the last one session six coming up august 13th from 9 to 10 that's next week with karen uh now more than ever in this market is it time to be accountable yes right if we're not seeing results it's probably because we're not holding ourselves accountable or having someone hold us accountable uh to the results that we expect to hit so uh, come join Karen and the coaching team as they dive into that. Uh, for those of you in the Mebane and Hillsborough market, we are starting home tour there. Uh, next week, there'll be a home tour in Mebane, and we're doing Hillsborough team meetings on the fourth Thursday, fourth Tuesday of the month, excuse me. Um, and we'll be doing home tour for those as well. So 
if you're interested in, even if you're not in Mebane or Hillsborough and you want to come to those home tours, we'd love to have you there for those. Let's watch this quick case score video from Molly D'Amato's. Can you believe it? All the talking about back to school time for so many students and kiddos, maybe even your own. Did you know, though, that back to school can apply to anyone in your database anytime when it comes to a career in real estate? Remember that the vision and mission of case score is to showcase that E in our Y4C2Ts by focusing on equity, opportunity for all. And when it comes to exploring a career in real estate, K-Score is the best way to do that. When you offer your database the opportunity to have a safe and relatively or completely cost-free learning opportunity, it's truly a win-win-win. K-Score gives you the opportunity to make offers to partner with your communities through both career coaching scholarships in KW Prep and pre-licensing scholarships. You can offer those through either our K-Score partners at Kaplan Online Real Estate Education where offered, or through partnerships you might have with other pre-licensing schools, even ones right in your community. Remember, when it comes to back to school, the school doesn't matter as much as the relationship with the student, and that's where you come in. Use K-Score as the foundation of the conversation and see what you can build in your communities. Need more information? Have questions? Talk to your Market Center leadership, your K-Score administrator, or email me at molly at kw.com or a whole K-Score team at kscore at kw.com. All right, for those of you that don't know who Molly is, she's absolutely phenomenal human being. Uh, she's one of my colleagues in the bold world, also a bold coach. Uh, Molly is uh, extremely passionate about new people getting into real estate school. You have... Uh, K-Score support here that runs through primarily Rivers and Daniel. So if you have someone interested in getting in, let them know. We enrolled over 180 people in the K-Score platform in the last 60 days. 180 people in our office in the last 60 days. So y'all, there are people out there that want to get into real estate. Are all 160, 180 of them going to join us? Probably not. There's a process by which they get weeded out, right? How many people go to real estate school and never actually get their license? Uh, and yet we enrolled 180 people. They are massive numbers. If you know someone looking to get their real estate license, there's an opportunity for them to do it at no cost to them. Connect with Rivers or Daniel if you have any questions about that process. We also have career night coming up next Tuesday night. More opportunity for them to learn uh, about K-Score and what that opportunity looks like. It'll be Central Family Day coming up Wednesday, August 21st. That's two weeks from tomorrow, four to seven. Uh, we will get more info out to you by the end of this week. Right, Jamie? Yeah. Got it. I'm like, I'm asking Jamie as accountability, right? To hold me accountable to make sure that we get that information and get it out to you this week. That's two weeks from tomorrow uh, at the Lake McIntosh Park and Marina. We'd love to see you there. All right, bold. Uh, we're almost there, y'all. Two weeks from Thursday uh, is bold first step. So whether you're coming to full bold or not, uh, we want you to be at First Step. First Step is no cost to you. Uh, and there's free lunch provided. And Jesse, our amazing bold coach, who should be in the Zoom world right now, about to join us for a few minutes of pouring into you and where we're at today. Uh, bold is just an amazing opportunity right now, y'all. Gary has said it himself. This is where everybody needs to be uh, in the current market is in the bold room. Uh, the ownership of the market center have offered to pay for half of the first 20 agents that register in the market center. I think we have three or four of those tickets left uh, at half price. So $3.99 for you. That's a worthy investment to jump into bold. Uh, that's $7.99 isn't bad to invest in your own business where you'll get out of putting seven weeks in. $3.99 is even better. A uh, few of those seats left, take advantage of those. Uh, you've heard me say it and I'm going to say it again. Uh, some of you are used to the old bold where we would reimburse all of that over four closings. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that because we cut your expenses when we cut the market center cap. We didn't cut the market center expenses. We've now cut those expenses. Um, and so we can't budget to also reimburse for everybody to take bold. Um, yet the owners graciously paid for half of the first 20 that would register. So there's a few of those half price tickets left. Take the opportunity, invest in your business, spend the $3.99 before those tickets run out. Um, or the $7.99 when they run out, uh, because I believe it's that worth worth that much um, for your business. So I'm going to let Jesse jump in now. 
and once she's done pouring into you guys, uh, it's going to be Daniel and Jason and then our, our sponsors. So, hey, Jesse. Hello. Okay, I'm trying to say I can just see my face on the bold thing. So I'm I'm trusting that I'm on there and you can hear me. Is that right? You got muted. You just need to unmute yourself, Jesse. I am unmuted. Can you hear me? Yes, there you are. Okay, great. Wonderful. Well, hello, KW Central. Oh my goodness. Uh, first of all, I want to say great shirt, Andrew. I'm wearing the same one. I am actually in the bold room today as a student. I'm taking bold. And I stepped away so that I could um, share some stuff with you guys. I am so excited about coming to your market center on August 22nd. Um, that's a really special day for me too. That is my son's birthday. So he's turning the big six. I will be uh, with you guys and then coming straight home to see him that night. Uh, part of what I wanted to share with you today is a little bit about, oh my gosh, mindset, right? Bold is a lot about mindset. There's two things that we can control. We can control our mindset and we can control our actions. And it is a wonderful reminder of what we can control. Uh, how many of you are feeling a little uncomfortable with everything that's going on with NAR? I trust there are hands going up. There are some hesitant hands. Hesitant hands, the, the slow raise. I love it. Uh, yeah, it's a scary, it's a scary time because it's an unknown time. We're all kind of just rolling with the punches. And that's what is a part of our industry. Guys, real estate is not the same as it was five years ago. Certainly not the same as 10 or even 20 or even 50 years ago. Guess what? It evolves. We're in a stage of evolving. Um, one thing I want to point out, this is a book. I hope you all have had a chance to pick up, read. If not, get it. It is so relevant right here, right now. Gary wrote this. And this is also how Bold was developed. Bold was developed in a shift, in a market downturn, so that agents could get back to the foundational business and understand that right now is a fabulous time to go and take market share. I want to read this to you. It says, when a market shifts, there is only one thing to do. What is that? Shift with it. That's right. And actually, you're doing two shifts. It's that mindset shift and it's that action shift. If we don't shift, then we're going to get left behind. So what are you doing today to make that shift? There is a lot of talk about, oh, well, this, this brokerage isn't going to even offer buyer, buyer's agency commission and compensation. Well, good for them. Get out of my way is what I have to say. That is market share that I can go and take and I can run my business the way I want to run my business. And if that means I'm going to share my compensation with somebody that's bringing me a buyer and they're going to be represented and then I don't have to have the hassle of doing both sides, you're dang right, that's what I'm going to do. There is so much opportunity right now. And if we just change the way that we're thinking about it, if we take off these glasses and we put on another pair, by the way, I have 26 and I'm going to be wearing a different one every single time I come to see you, then everything else changes, guys. We just have to look at it a little bit differently. Different does not necessarily mean difficult. Everything is hard. There is not anything about this industry that is easy. It's simple, but it's hard. And you have to choose your hard. Which hard are you willing to take on? Guys, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be about 30 to 40% of agents in your area alone that are not going to be selling real estate next year. And I would say my prediction is there's probably going to be about 15 that aren't going to be selling in the next six months. So are you going to be one of those or are you going to go and take their business? Take the business that they are leaving on the table because they are letting fear rule their lives. Um, I'm a big Burke, Burke, that's not a word. I'm a big book person. 
And I wanted to, um, I wanted to pull this out. If you've never seen this book, it is a little gem. Like this is a great coffee table book. It's also one that I pick up whenever I'm feeling down. It's called the world according to Mr. Rogers, like the Mr. Rogers, the sweater guy, you know, putting on his shoes. Yeah. It's important things to remember. And this is one uh, specifically around the challenges of inner discipline. And Mr. Rogers says that there are times all during life when we need the inner resources to keep ourselves busy and productive all by ourselves. And man, that resonated, especially me sitting in the bold room today as a student. There is no one that can do this for me other than me. And when we sit down and we think about that, you control your destiny. What environment are you in? Do you have people that are pushing you? Do you have people that are holding you accountable? Because if you don't, how easy is it to just get lackadaisical and to just fall into the lazy and fall into the trap of not doing business, not connecting with our database, not talking to the people that we know and that we love and that trust us and are more likely to do business with us than sitting there and cold calling. I'll tell you right now, I do not like to cold call. That is not my favorite. I, I avoid it at all costs. Well, we also know that cold calling and chasing internet leads and people that you don't have a connection with are the least likely to do business with you. So pick up your phone Scroll down to the end of number of contacts and realize that you have a ton of business with the people who already know, love, and trust you. Are you connected with them? Are you sending them a text just to see how they're doing? Are you picking up the phone and saying, how's your mom and them? That's what needs to happen right now. What can I control? What can I not control? What am I trying to control that I can't? All of these questions, we're going to talk about this in bold, and we're going to build an environment where you can all be accountable to each other and see your business grow together. I am so excited and I'm so impressed that there is a market center who is paying for half of your ticket for the first 20 people. You want to talk about investing in you. That's amazing. And there's three tickets left. Oh, somebody's got to grab those, grab those and grab them fast. I want you to look to your left and I want you to look to your right. Who's still going to be here in a year? And if there's someone that you just looked at that you're concerned about, how do you help get them in the bold room? I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see you. Thank you for letting me jump on here. Um, it's going to be a blast. All I see is a blank podium. So Andrew, you take it away. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to get back in the bold room myself. Y'all take care. All right. Bye now. Uh, Y'all, she's, you only got about this much of Jesse's energy in that call. Uh, she stands about yay high. She's Cindy size. She's Cindy size. And she is, uh, and she's got more than Cindy energy uh, that she's going to bring to the room. And uh, she's, she's, it is a bold statement. Um, and uh, she, she's just phenomenal, y'all. Uh, again, I, I picked her for us uh, because I believe she is what we need. So uh, if you haven't signed up yet, sign up. Take, take the, I'm, I'm going to use the word risk uh, because some of you think it's a risk. Some of you think like, oh, if I spend the money, am I going to get the money back out of it? Take the risk and play all in. Don't take bold a la carte, play all in. Take bold, play all in, you're going to win. And I guarantee you, you'll recoup the three ninety nine or seven ninety nine back in that seven weeks. If you play all in, I guarantee you, you'll make it back. Uh, so much to say. I see your hand, Timmy. I'm not going to commit to this right now, but I'm going to go talk to Robbie afterwards. Just want to say something out loud. 
first two pages. I'm going to say it because I'll pay it out of my pocket. Oh. If you take bold and you play all in, meaning you do the actual 100 conversations and you can prove it to me every week for seven weeks and you play all in and you don't take a piece of business during bold, I will personally write you a check for what you paid to take bold. Not the market center writing a check. I will write a check. <laughs> now you have to show up. You've got to do the work. You got to do the homework. You don't take a piece of business in those seven weeks. I'll write you a check because it works. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it at that and give it to Jason to take the rest of the meeting, or to Daniel, sorry, and then to Jason to take the rest of the meeting away. Um, I appreciate you all and I believe in you all. Um, so I'm willing to take that risk because I believe. I'm not going to have to write a check uh, because I believe you're going to play all in and you're going to win. Tammy. I just wanted to um, say that I, I totally agree with Joe's and Joe's taking it for and Cindy. Um, it is an amazing opportunity. And if you do do the work, you will have amazing results. And I don't care how many times you take it, you can come away with something different. To me, the first time it was more personal. Um, as far as mindset and overcoming some of the obstacles that I had to deal with in my personal life. But if um, everybody has, if you do the work, you will take a great deal away from it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. For sure. Awesome. You all won't see me back up front the rest of the time. So Daniel, I'll take it away. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Hey guys. Hey. Just, just real quick little tech updates. So you guys have been doing a fantastic job upgrading your websites. Uh, I think everybody that's overly concerned about it has taken care of that. If not, again, that last class uh, from KWRI uh, is tomorrow, but feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, I'm going to be on vacation next week. Thank you all. Yeah. So feel free to email me though. I'm planning on putting about an hour a day somewhere. So just email me if you guys have any problems. <clears throat> uh, the 15th is the last opportunity to manually update your website. Otherwise it's just going to happen for you. Not a big deal if that is the case. Uh, just if you had any custom pages, they will be gone. Um, so that's really the only big thing on that. And if you haven't done it by now, you probably weren't really actively working on your pages. So you should be good. Um, and that's what that whole slide was about. Uh, the two kind of quick little updates. Um, the advanced filters in your contacts have gotten better and better and better this year. Uh, the most recent addition is you can actually filter by smart plans. So you can see, okay, who's on these smart plans, who's not on these smart plans. Uh, if you have a smart plan that maybe you're deprecating to do like a new smart plan, you can see who's still on the old one, move them over to the new one. So uh, it, for database management, uh, the advanced features are fantastic. And adding that smart plan one is really, really nice. Uh, going back to the website part uh, portion of things, I did want to point out, because somebody asked me about it last week, um, there is a new easy process for a property landing page. So maybe you're doing like an advertisement or something like that for one of your properties. Just hop into the newly named website button in the bottom left of command. Uh, I used to say consumer app. It now literally says website. After hitting advanced mode or go uh, edit my website and then advanced mode, this little option will be right there. You can just click on it and put in the property that you're wanting to do a page. And that page is customizable. I forgot I made that a quick thing. So <laughs> very customizable. Uh, thank you, Ethel. I, I just kind of stole one of your listings and threw myself in it. Uh, so you can put your own little uh, 
spin to it. Um, it then has little widgets that you can take on and off of these. So I went ahead and left up the vital information for everyone uh, if they were to check out the site. It then has my information so they can reach out to me. Sorry again, Ethiel, you actually, your information's not here, mine's here. So they can reach out to me instead. Um, I left up the carousel so you could see more pictures and then it has the location and then another opportunity to reach out to me. So if at some point you need, want, desire to promote a house, I don't know. Do you guys promote houses? I feel like occasionally you probably would want to, maybe. Um, now's the, uh, with your new websites, this is the new easy way to do that. And I'm done. Y'all have fun next week. I'm going to hide from all y'all. Hey, so I want to share... Um... Uh, congratulations to Andrew. He actually finished his first bold and most of the class graduated, I think. Um, and so congratulations to your first bold um, as a coach. The other thing that happened is we were all on a call, all market centers, all Carolinas. And guess which market center had increases? That one. The one he was coaching. All the other ones were red and orange and yellow and those other colors besides green. Um, his was not. So spoke volumes. So con so I'm from Mayberry. That's called proof in the pudding. Um, so <clears throat> am I clicking or are you clicking? I'm clicking. Okay. Hey, Forewarn, I gave you an example last week um, about something that uh, two weeks ago, what happened with Forewarn. It's free, F-R-E-E, -E, with your paid triangle membership. I'm even going to do you better. Scan that. You cannot get your out. Scan it. Work it. I saw y'all going for your pictures. Everybody good? You good? Uh, so if you have it activated, what you can do is proactively a safety tool for your professionals. Um, you can identify names, aliases, and ages, phone numbers, different phone numbers, um, address history, financial indicators, if they're even, like if they have a bankruptcy in last year, they probably might not be approved, right? Um, so that would be a different conversation than, hey, let's go look at houses. Um, also, you would see property records they had, like if they told you they had one to sell and they didn't. Um, and so criminal records and as you the story goes if you didn't hear an agent called me and didn't feel real comfortable and said gosh Jason I don't know what to do with this uncomfortable feeling I said well what do we do here did you look in forewarn he said no they had 233 criminal records so and it's free so all right there it is if you didn't scan it do it legal hotline because you join an association, did you know you have access to attorneys 24 seven? There you go, legal hotline at ncrealtors.org. It's weekly I have an interaction with them as your BIC, because y'all ask me everything under the sun. <clears throat> so you can also call to reach them. This is the one they answer quickest, just so you know. Um, usually you have an answer within 24 hours, so. It's odd if you don't. Also, NC Realtors does mobile Mondays um, once a month, and there's always a good topic. Like if you don't like me and didn't like my forum class, you can go to mobile Mondays and watch theirs. So, um, hey, so today is August 6th, August 6th, right? We all woke up today. It's all good. Um, guess what happened today? There you go. It's after August 1st. What happened August 1st? Try add. It was already gone. and It was gone for a week and you didn't even feel it, did you? Yes. No. No. A compensation. So we called listen agents to see. We didn't hear back. I know Paul was showing a house today. They didn't answer on a check. I even told poor Paul they're not returning my calls for compensation. 
Uh, with us having a deck team and everything, yeah, we thought about streamlining our Keller Williams official face, Facebook page to maybe have our properties. Yeah. And There's a uh, do not work around the system. I'm not there yet. Um, <clears throat> no, I didn't say that. You can put it on social media and public page. Let me get there. So if you didn't watch Are You Ready for Compensation with Karen and I, you should. And there'll even be a scan code you can link. <laughs> um, Triad already removed it. It's gone. I didn't hear much out of you all about Triad. I don't know if that was good or bad, but y'all were kind of quiet about it. Maybe you didn't realize it. And you're thinking August 6th was when it's happening. Maybe you thought August 17th was when it happened. I don't know what you thought. You, you were kind of quiet about it. Um, Triangle is removing theirs today. You can imagine 15,000 listings that may, yours may still there and his may not um, because they've not gotten to the that batch yet, um, but they will be removed. So <clears throat> do not work around the system. That is not in the livelihood of the settlement because what happens if you're working around the system? You open yourself up to a lawsuit directly to you. Okay? Do not. I, there was a group of people out of Asheville that created a landing page and a website and said, join us, create a membership, and just put all your commissions in here. It was taken down. So if you're hosting an open house, what do you need to have once they start talking about financing and whatever else? That's all you need to have. Open house, you're working on behalf. What you got, Beth? You only get three. Okay. That's fine on ours. Yeah, that's fine. No, I didn't say you can't put it on public. I, you, I'm getting there. Y'all y'all bear with me. Dang, y'all are eager. So, open house, only WWREA. That's all you need. You're working on behalf of the seller. Even if I'm hosting an open house for Jim, Jim has the agreement with the seller. KW has the agreement with the seller. Jim is KW. I'm KW. All I need is WWREA. It's your listing. Someone calls you and you show it. All you need is WWREA. You don't need an agency agreement to cross a threshold, is what they're saying, as the term, if it's your listing and you are showing it. Because you're representing the seller. Exactly, Val. You should not do that. What you should do the commission, I spent three hours with him last week. You should, as a listing agent, before you get into the realm of dual, the reason what happens with dual, you're pushing paper back and forth, right? You can no longer advise either client. The best thing for you to do, what is our fee to list as an office? Six. You can vary that with a one percentage point, perfectly fine. Either way, you should... According to the commission, you, if you have someone that doesn't have an agent that's represented, you then turn to your seller and say, we have a buyer that's interested. I, I'm representing you. Would you like to make them an offer? You write up an offer that is acceptable to your seller and present it to that buyer as a person. Because what are you still getting? I see y'all confused. What are you still getting? What's the fee to list? That's either party can make an offer. If you counter offer, it's back and forth. You're making an offer back to that side. The commission said the best way and safest way is for you representing the seller to say, seller, what is the offer you will accept for us to present to them? Then you fill it out and you say, Mike, you're not a realtor. You don't have a realtor. I've talked with my seller. This is what they're willing to accept. Mike, would you like to accept that? No. Mike then can counter, and I would take that back to my seller. Once we come to terms, my seller and this person, no agent, I facilitate the contract just like you would a for sale by owner, flip it to a for sale by buyer um, situation. You're still representing your person facilitating and your fee is what? 6%. I, I'm telling you safest and most legal way. 
per the commission. I spent three hours. And, and, and I, yeah, of course. Yeah, WWRA. Or you say, hey, Joe, I got a buyer. They don't have an agent. Would you pay me a referral for that? And you accept what? the referral fee and whatever your agreed percentage is that you talk to at your meeting. And then you get whatever your fee plus something, or you represent your person and keep all of it. That's, that's safer and most legal way according to NCREC. So dual agency is allowed. You just can't help anybody. You're just filling in forms. So the other thing is if you, here's the, their main frustration and point of saying it this way mike you don't have an agent i'll be glad to facilitate that for you let me fill out the offer you're going to make to my seller what's implied i'm helping mike what could my seller say you, you working for me or you working for mike right that's why it's the safest and most legal way yes You would have to, and I'm getting to that, you would update, what is this in the next sentence? Compensation is always negotiable. So if you need to go to that recording because you didn't watch it, da -da -da -da, scan, 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 quick and easy. Tell me when y'all got it. This is my one with Karen. It was an hour and a half. I'll get you there. I promise. I will. I will answer your question. You got to give me one slide and six minutes, seven minutes. Yeah. So this is the one, if you were in here, we spent an hour and a half on it. All right. If you don't have it, we'll get it to you. Forms, questions, and whatever you've asked me since last week. If it's different, your client has to agree and you update the page on payment. Like you update page 17, you upload updated page 17. You update the page on compensation from the listing agreement and say updated page five of buyer, seven of seller, I think. You just update that page with a new number you've agreed to. Or you fill out a 710, which is an agreement to amend or agency amendment. Variable is not anything, you, it, no, no, nothing's variable. Because in legally, according to the general statute, a buyer and a seller have to know their fee. So it can't be something that's like this or that or between here or there, or it's, it has to be a number. Nope. 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 Yeah, it's gone anyway. So, so 710, if you change your compensation, if something happens after you've signed your agreements and you're like, oh my God, it changed, what do I do? Update the page that changed to the number you agreed to that you negotiated because what? No, compensations are always negotiable. Or just submit a 710 and say, I've amended our agency. That's all you do. All right, so, and that's not different. That's the same form we had before, y'all. Um, you just didn't fill it out when it changed. You just said, oh, I'll accept that lower percentage. It's lower than mine. I won't charge you. And you never updated the 710. That's, you just didn't finish the next step. Hey, 715, or for all those folks that were in agency that have not gone under contract, what 715 does, and it's going away in December, it's a temporary document, because it tells your current clients that are under agency, not under contract, that, hey, compensation is negotiable, and you understand that clearly. So... 770, that one discloses if you're accepting something else. Like, hey, I get a couch because I get a fridge because you bought, I don't know what it is. Um, I get so and so because you're buying a DR Horton home. So 770 discloses and approves of that compensation with your client. So if it's something in addition to what your agreed upon compensation is, it's a 770. And again, 
we spent an hour and a half on this on that prior video and it's been posted four times already that i've seen um moving on a little bit hey dd does not get returned without one termination but agreement right <clears throat> now termination from the buyer can be unilateral uni one lateral to you they can terminate and then what happens if you refuse to sign it it's terminated <laughs> it's tomorrow time it's gone it's over put it back active um, it's all in one form now, so you understand it a little clearer, clearer. So I get this probably multiple times a day, multiple times a week. So-and-so wants a DD back. What do we do? Well, refer back to your offer to purchase. What does it say you do? It says you may be entitled to your due diligence back if these additional steps. If you find a material fact that you felt was disclosed or intentionally withheld, that then you would have to prove in court. And if they don't just willingly give it back to you. Um, I don't have your DD. KW don't have your DD. You don't even have the DD. Who has it? Seller, right? Who refuses to give it or chooses to give it? Seller. I can't make a seller do it. Even I'm, I can't. I don't have that super friend's power. So all I can tell you is, look, they don't want to give it back to you. They don't agree. Um, your options are sue them. Small claims if it's under 5,000. Um, and it can't often, they get this question, it cannot be the attorney that's already working on the closing. Why? They could be called into as a witness. So they can't represent you in the claim against due diligence while they're a witness on the stand. They don't ask themselves questions. So, Hey, compliance is not always me. I told you this last time. If you see that little hash, Jason, that is me personally. And I know you've seen a lot of it this month. So I've spent day and night, hours and weekends reading through things and commenting. So I know some of you had transactions seen hash, Jason, that's me directly. <laughs> Often you comment or send me a note and say, Jason, I talked to blah, blah, blah about this. What are you talking And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So um, I'll look it up and see. If you don't see hash Jason, that ain't me. <clears throat> um, it's hired. So um, read your emails and answer your phone. You just heard two agents say there's got showings today or with no answer on compensation. You, you either, if they're not offering and your client requires it, then it's free. I mean, you're working. You're always free to share to your client. Oh, Y'all stay with me. Y'all stay with me. Look, your fiduciary, here's a couple of things. You have to have an agency agreement to cross the threshold with your client. It didn't say you had to have compensation with them. You can show it. You, can, you cannot make an offer without knowing compensation. That's next. So your showing is not, it is still fiduciary. You're still not doing anything wrong. Once you, you cannot make an offer until your client, buyer client knows if they offer it or not. So you continue to hound them and say, I have an offer for you. I just need to know your answer. Call their office, call their BIC. I don't, I mean, blow them up. I don't care. They're the ones not doing their job. You... North Carolina law, you cannot make an offer without your client knowing if they offer compensation or not. So, Then your client has decisions to make. So if they can borrow it, they can, I don't know, will it, they can finance it, they can sell their child, I don't know. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's like if I go to Best Buy today and I want a new laptop, either I can buy it or I can't. I mean, so, yeah, so. 
No. No, the lawsuit has changed no, no. You have a compensation agreement. If they don't want to pay you, then you terminate the agreement with them. Yeah, the, the best thing for my client, though, was for them to get their dream home for me to do it for free. That's what you're doing. That's my law. But the agreement with your client is that you have a fee that they agree to charge. <laughs> you will seek it from the other side, not that it will. Then you no, you can walk away. You can say, I, I can't provide you that house. It's not you. They can't pay it. It's not you. It's them. Yeah, I mean, it's picking bones, but that specific is too, I mean, you may have that. Blow them up, ask for it. If they don't pay it, say, look, I've got you an offer. And if they're not paying it, they're not paying it. Are you willing to pay it? Because I have an offer, if you will. I mean. Also, sometimes we have buyers who can't pay closing costs or have their down payment. All the time. So we up for their closing costs and their down payment. Or share it with agents. It's part of those concessions. If your buyer is not willing to pay and they want to see that house, then you'll have to ask those sellers in that offer to purchase for concession. Not an offer to purchase. You would never ask an offer to purchase. No, 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 no. Don't ever ask an offer to purchase. Let kill that dead. No, nope. 220. It would be the lenders, the FHA type of loan, that kind of thing, if they can roll it in or not. And they can tell you when they do their lending presentation. <clears throat> Y'all are um, 220. Let's talk about it. 220 means it can come from either side, buying or selling, doesn't matter. If you as a seller have one already filled out and you send it over, that's perfectly fine. Or if the buyer fills one out, they send it to you requesting it, it's perfectly fine. All it does is confirms payment of compensation and where it's coming from. You can send it as a request. Um, that's perfectly fine. Seller can sign it as part of the listing agreement. Y'all are asking me these questions, so I'm answering them. Can I go in my listing appointment and have a 220 filled out? Yes. Can a buyer send me one that's different than the one I have signed? Yes. Because why? Every single thing is negotiable. Um, do not, under any circumstance, put it in the MLS. Do not, in any circumstance, put it in showing time. You can text it, you can email it, you can lay it in the house. I will show you some examples of what you can do. Do not put it in. I saw a, two contracts last week that said in page 14, the check, C220 addendum. I like to have a stroke. It was like 1230 at night and I posted like three videos. Y'all scared the hell out of me. Um. <clears throat> OTP is a state law. It's like quid pro quo. You can't say, you give me this in, a, in trade of that. You can request them to offer compensation. It's not a this or that. That's illegal. And, it, and great point. The offer to purchase is between who? Buyer and seller, not agents. Agents are not a part of the offer to purchase. Only your contact information. Compensation is between an agent and a client or an agent and the other side. Okay. Does that clear that up, Beth? That's okay. You got two. All right. You got to tell her three when she starts. No. Yep. Yeah. When you fill out RPD in a listing pro presentation, do you know who the buyer is? Same thing. You add buyer later. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Expiration date is what? The date of the expiration of your listing contract. If you need to extend it, extend it. I got that question yesterday. What date do I put? I'm like, you can't have a date box empty. Um, don't break the law. 58, I know you techies, 58A.012. Jeff, just picking at you. Um. Do not put it in the OTP, y'all, please. We will all go to real estate jail and possibly jail jail. Do not o OTP. <clears throat> all parties have to know about compensation and all have to agree you can receive it. So you can't receive something from another outside source, even in addition to something your clients agreed without that 770. Um, and it's fine if you get it, if they say it's okay. All right? Fire agency, you got to have it before. What? Am I boring you, Daniel? 
<clears throat> that's a twenty dollar donation to Sunshine Fund. <clears throat> Must have before showing a home, non exclusive or exclusive. Either one's fine. Sign before touring, even if you are streaming it. Yeah, yeah, we'll send it to you. Y'all come down. Uh, MLS will police this through showing time. You must have a start and a stop date on an agency agreement. Um, you must have fees that are charged and where they come from. You'll see it from the other side or it comes from your client. The location you are searching, it can be all the way down to one address or all of North Carolina because you're licensed in North Carolina. I caution you in code of ethics says you won't practice outside of your expertise. So if I don't have an expertise in all of North Carolina, I shouldn't say all of North Carolina. I should say where I, I have an expertise. So I caution you about practicing malpractice. Um, whatever you do, and this is back to Jeff's question, which is a real question, you cannot make an offer now in North Carolina unless you know compensation is offered if your client needs it. So you that's not an offer until you know. You've asked me about 220. Do I send it as the offer packet? I, they say no. They prefer you not to do it because it can be, what if they sign everything in the packet but not the 220? that your client's under contract. Yes. Send it first. At minimum, have something in writing, whether it's a text or an email that says they will offer it and then send it if you have to send this packet. But the preference is that it is not a part of a packet because again, it implies this is only here because you do this. No, because if their client says send them everything, it's like a counter. Send them everything back but that. It's a counter. So. Yes. Yes. Due diligence hasn't changed, so that won't change. <clears throat> They've agreed to everything they've sent, except for this. But they've signed it, and technically, because that can't be a part of the offer. And yeah, I mean, technically, you're under contract. Yep. So protect your client. Um, No offers. Okay. Can you do these things? Yes. Y'all soak up that in. <laughs> No, Lisa asked if you're obligated to show that house if they know they have to have compensation. You're not obligated to show that house because part of your agreement with your person is they can't pay for it. And you have to have that conversation, have that adult conversation in business that says part of my understanding is unless you've come up with 3% of that price, there's no reason for us to see that one. Okay. What are you going to negotiate to? <clears throat> okay. Yes. I mean, you can ask, but don't mean you have to accept it. You need a 220 sign first. I'm just telling you, unless you want to be in real estate jail, 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 don't do it. Can you do all this stuff? Yes. Every one of these is fine. I, except if that zone drone picture is in the mls you can't do that you ain't supposed to have a sign in the mls anyway and even though i reported an agent for having theirs in there okay all this is fine <clears throat> i we even in my class with the commission you know those little kitty magnets on the fridge what's what did it say three percent and it was in the mls picture so just telling you don't do it it can be on the fridge and the kitty magnets if you don't have it in the MLS, right? So, hey, so what you can do, it can be on the listing, on your own websites. It can be on signs and riders. <laughs> you create a handy dandy flyer out of command. Um, you're all getting these. You can be a social media post. It can be a text, an email, or a phone call. What it can't be is the MLX IDX. You cannot use to facilitate or support any mechanism to offer compensation. All right. <clears throat>
Yeah. I didn't say you couldn't. No, I said I would get to it. Yeah, absolutely. You can't say MLS one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't do that. Yeah, we won't be. They're working on something, but I don't know what will be legal because we're not there yet. So I said it's legal for you to stand in front of a camera, Jeff, and say one, two, three Main Street is offering two and a half percent. That is perfectly fine. So get look, Gary paid the $70 million. I wouldn't piss Gary off if I were you. So <laughs> they're fed from IDX. If then you take yours and send it. You can send from yours unless it's got an MLS number on it. There is a problem. Like if you create a flyer or landing page in command like he just showed you, that's perfectly fine to share. It's coming from KW as long as it doesn't have an MLS number on it. Hey, right way, everybody needs to initial. I'm seeing this all the time. <clears throat> Changes and only one, one side initials. This is right. Whoever this is and you're markered out, I love you. Hey, right way so I can sleep. <clears throat> this is a bunch of initials and we love a bunch of initials. Everybody that's signing. What's wrong with number three? This will flag my like hair on the back of my neck. <clears throat> nope, not yet. The washer is in different font than what was the original. So unless I see everybody's initials, that flags me. Makes me worried. Um, it's dated in the little initials and at the bottom. Yeah, it is. It's in the top. <clears throat> hey, isn't it funny that experts in negotiation find it difficult to negotiate compensation? Just saying. Um, you're a seasoned realtor trying to understand all of this and this stupid lawsuit. Um, look, y'all, we we are resilient. Change happens. We this will this ain't the first change. You know how compensation got added to the MLS? A lawsuit, class action, 1994. <clears throat> so fewer transactions, you overcome it, higher rates, you overcome it, NAR settlement, and you're still it's still getting stronger and you're still going to be successful. So love you. We we will be doing weekly sessions during August for our hour long join us. Um, ask me anything under the sun because y'all are asking everything and we're, we're focusing you back to facts. Yes. Um, we will post it and send it to you. We're going to, we got to get our calendar set. And then I, I decided not to go to Texas. So I will be here next week. So we're going to be doing something every week. So, all right. Union home, one of our favorite sponsors that we know and love, of course, and They've got some answers for you, too, on the lending side. Yeah. Make it your, I was making sure your slides are there. They are. Thank you. Just look in. <laughs> so we'll be real quick because we know you guys are ready to get back to selling real estate. Um, but just wanted to let you know that we are back to 580 for FHA and VA loans. So we can do down to 580. Yes, so that, well, 600, uh, we would take down to a 600 on an FHA and a VA, but now we've, we've dropped down to 580. So that's a that's a big plus. And I, I know I've got people in my pipeline that I pre-qualified that were below 600. So we've gone <laughs> back and tried to reconnect with some of those folks. So um, that's a big win, you know, for everybody. So the answer to the question that you asked earlier about, um, Tammy, about compensation, you know, a lot of things are changing for you guys with commissions and things like that, but how it affects on the real on the mortgage side is that sellers paying buyers commission is not going to factor into the 3%, 6%, 4%, any of the commission guidelines that sellers have to pay buyers um, expenses. So it's not going to cut into that. Fannie and Freddie have made that statement and it's it's up to 9% if you're putting 25% down on a conventional loan. 3% if it's um, up more than, if they're doing more than 10% and 
and they can do 6% if they're putting 10% down. VA is four, USDA is um, six because USDA is a government loan. Sarah, do you have a question? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we did just a little, you know, got a little, I think the, Michelle sent this out to everybody. So it should be in your, or probably on the Facebook or on the Facebook. So it's available to, to anybody that wants it. Could you explain the VA <laughs> aspect a little bit better? Because I understand that that's the sticking point when it comes to getting compensation um, paid for by the seller. Yeah, there, there are some things that are closing costs that don't count in that VA. I would, I would rather have it in front of me and not say it wrong, but it's a little bit more liberal with what doesn't count in the 4% than it, than conventional or FHA does. So if there is an excess <laughs> as far as the maximum amount that can be added, could it be applied toward the difference in the buyer agent compensation? Oh, I, I do not know the answer to that. Do you, Allison? I think so. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say because I don't know for sure. Because that's that's a sticky. <laughs> that's the only trump card in in the compensation thing. Where the seller pays the difference of the compensation. Is if it's less than what the buyer agency agreement is. It used to be that the on a VA loan you couldn't get that from the seller because they can't pay the extra fee. I thought they changed that recently. Yeah. Well, they that's changed all that's the, 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 the yeah. They changed the um, excuse me. The VA. Okay. The then you, then yes. <laughs> I just know that none of them are going to allow you to um, for the buyer to finance it into the loan. Going to happen. So they, if they have to pay it, then it's going to come out of their pocket over and beyond what they've got to come out for down payment or closing. Yes. Yeah, so V. Yeah. Yeah, that's something I would just. I just. I'm asking for clarification. Okay, we'll follow back up. Yes. Lord knows we get something about every other day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be at a loss. Right. Yeah. I, I, I feel like you're right on that, but um, my understanding is out of pocket, not rolled into a Correct. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. I'm just now allowed to make that opinion But we'll get you something to write. Yeah. I'll double check that too, but. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not following the question because it doesn't affect, you know, it's not. Okay. okay. I'm very interested in hearing the answer to that because I, <laughs> I'm definitely working on the client. You gotta okay. Get that okay. Right. But that okay. that's something that's, it can't be yeah. it's, part, it's not part would. of the loan yeah. process. Like oh, that, because so. they say they would. Right. Am I, I mean, you know, like, am I wrong? Because I'm like, you know, that half a percent. You know, don't want to make sure you get the left. We'll get you something running on that yeah. one. Don't worry. Yeah. About yeah. That. We'll follow back up on that. Don't stay on that floor. We'll get you. Yeah. Okay. So the other thing was just, you know, with housing the way it is and what you have available, don't forget that even first time home buyers can do a construction perm um, closing. We do FHA, VA, and USDA. So there are, you know, down to the three and a half percent, hundred percent with VA or USDA. Um, with the one-time close. So there's build-outs for four-month to 12-month construction perm for those. So just kind of another little reminder as an option since stuff's limited for people to find out there. And then rates, of course, um, wow. have dropped. So, wow. yeah. What the oh, wow. uh, how do you go back? Oh, wait a minute. I hit the bottom. Sorry. Oh. The, uh -huh. I'm taking picture. Thank you. You're welcome. But um, so if you'll look, the conventional 30 year is under six and a half right now. So, you know, another thing too, the two one buy down has been big. So before you guys like drop a price, I know we all talk about it, but um, before you drop a listing or the sales price, you know, call us and see what it would cost. If they're getting ready to drop it 10,000, it would probably pay for that two one buy down. And then you can sit here and tell well, you're in the fours. Um for the for that first year and then in the fives and then hopefully you can refinance when they drop even more but fha is under six um va is under six so they're getting better hopefully getting better even more as the year goes six is, uh, conventional over here. Mm -hmm. yes on yep. the 
far less. And I've locked in some refinances this week at 5.99 30 year fixed. Mm -hmm. I ticked up a teeny bit, but they're still better than they have been, so we'll take it. I think that's it. Yep. Oh, um, Rivers is going to make a list. I mean, everybody doesn't bring a business card anymore. So um, we've got three door prizes. And so Rivers is going to make a list of everybody that was here. She's going to give it to me this afternoon. I'm going to draw and leave it up front. And so good luck to everybody. <laughs> Any questions? Go. Any questions you guys have? Can I have okay. Yeah, you can have this. And all four of those slides are getting. Yeah, they'll be right back to you.